Talk talk us through the last few weeks, um, Zam, sort of how how it's been for you, what what's sort of gone on, and 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 give everybody a little bit more of a, a, an yeah. idea of what's what's been going on. Yeah. So um, so obviously I've been in Florida, two and a half month training camp. Um, you know it was very intense, six days a week, kind of twelve, thirteen hour days. So it was a bit of a slog, but um, you know we had a we had a pro day, so like a a trial day in front of scouts on the twentieth of March, and. Basically, all the all the scouts from all the NFL teams went there and, and had a look at all of us. Um, there was probably about twenty of us in total, so um, not that many people, to be honest. So it was it was good to get a lot of reps and, and show what you can do in front of in front of scouts. Um, and then basically from that day, you kind of um, you you basically get called whether a team wants you into their facility or they want to work you out. Um, so I ended up going to to four teams. Um, I was meant to go to a load more, but I kind of had my mind set on where I wanted to go based on <laughs> based on the plan they had for me. Um, so I first the day after pro day, I went to Cleveland Browns, um, seen that facility, met all the coaches and everything, and they were they were absolutely amazing to me. Um, and then flew to. Um, Straight flew straight to New 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 York, so I went to the Jets. Um, went to their facility, had a workout. Um, that went really well. Met the coaches, um, so they were great with me. And then went to the Broncos on the uh, on the Monday. So um, within like three or four days, I already I already went to three or four franchises. Went to their facilities, met the coaches. Um, you know, some worked me out, some didn't. Um, but it was it was an amazing experience. And then. The final one was the Kansas City Chiefs and, um, you know, they've been absolutely amazing to me. Um, met all the coaches. Um, you know, we, we've we got a very good plan together, um, all on the same page and and basically see how it goes from now because, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a busy few months for me with pre-season coming up now in, in a week's time. Um, but, you know, I'm so excited. I fly Wednesday and um, I get straight into it and, and get get to work basically. So um, yeah, that's kind of been my that's kind of been my last three months. Um, I was meant to visit a load of more teams, but you know, I I've always said to myself, um, you know, I'm going to sit down with my family and, and basically go to a team that has a good plan for me, and um, and we're all on the same page. And and the Kansas City Chiefs were the team for me, so um, you know, I'm excited to to rip right into it and and get to work. Nice mate, we're excited for you. Zam yeah. is fucking rock and roll. And it, <laughs> it, it really is. I am genuinely absolutely buzzing for you. I had James Cook actually here in the studio last week, who's head of the IPP program, who's been part of your journey as well. And it's it couldn't have gone any better for you. Like it, you think, I imagine if you mapped it out, Zam, and said, right, this is what I'm doing. Headline news, I'm leaving rugby, I'm leaving the Six Nations, I'm leaving the Wooden Spoon behind, I'm leaving Gloucester, as lovely as Gloucester and Cheltenham are. And three months down the line, four months down the line, I'm going to be signing for the Super Bowl champions. Like, have you had time to pinch yourself or not? Like, you you are smiling from ear to ear, you look a million dollars, but I know you want to get to work, but just give us the kind of feeling of when you walked through the door of the Super Bowl champions and you were like, this is it. This is it, yeah. Yeah, I feel like, you know, when you step into the facility, like, it just, it, you just feel like you're going to win. Like, they have obviously all their Super Bowl um, trophies, like, straight ahead of you and, and just everyone in the building so confident. They're so, they're so chatty. You, you just feel like a belief within the facility itself. So, um, when I went in there, I was just, like, blown away. I was like, wow, this is the place I want to be at. And um, I really believe in myself. I, I really believe that, I can come in here and, and make a difference to a team. And um, yeah, I've met all the coaches and, and they were so lovely to me as well. And and, and the plan I said um, that, that we both have is is very good. And, and we're looking to see how that, that's going to plan out. But um, yeah, the, 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 the feeling was kind of like, you can just feel like winningness within the team. And I haven't even, I've met a couple of players. I haven't met everyone, but even just the, the the staff around the building, you just know that they have belief in everything they do um, and they're such a professional organisation. So that was kind of the feeling I went in there with and um, yeah, they absolutely blew me away. Yeah, well, James said they rolled out the red carpet for you, like as in you met Andy Reid, you met the coaches, which doesn't always happen when they're looking to sign young players. Did Travis yeah. Kelsey, did he open the door? Did he to heaven? Did he open the, <laughs> open the gates no, and say, to come be in? Fair, to be fair, 
um, Pat and Travis have messaged me and um, well, hang, on, hang on, hang on, say again, yeah, yeah, say yeah. again. We're not letting him get away with just calling him Pat. Right, hang on. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> yeah, just say them words out. again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey messaged me. Um, <laughs> you know, just saying welcome to KC. If I ever need anything, then let me know and. Um, you know, Fuck. everyone's well, my, been so welcome. My, 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 my missus uh, Zam wants a couple of tickets to Taylor Swift in the summer, so that could be the <laughs> yeah, first I'll, I'll try and I'll try and make that work for you. I'll try and make that work. That. <laughs> oh, Sam, not that's crazy because I know you're an NFL fan, right? So actually, to yeah. say that out loud, so oh, if you mad. take that back, to, yeah, go yeah. on. It's, it's mad. It's mad, and like, so basically, when I when I left the the facility and I was coming home on the plane, like I was in the airport in Kansas and. Some guy, I went through security and some guy was like, um, he was like looking at me weird and I was, and I was just looking at him and he was like, are you, are you a sports person? I was like, um, yeah. And he was like, who do you play for? And honestly, when I said it, I felt so weird saying it. I was like, I don't think I'm <laughs> And when I said it, I was like, oh God, that feels weird. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, it still hasn't sunk in yet. And um I think it's going to sink in, you know, when I get to meet all the boys, um, I get to train in the first day. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been an absolute whirlwind of, of three months. And um, I think, I, I don't know, it's, it just hasn't sat in and I'm just so excited to, to meet everyone and just start training. You, you, you look excited for it, Sam, anyway. But um, I, I, just something quickly, I was, going to, I was going to ask you about how how different the training has been in terms of say this sort of two month camp you've been on compared to say what a World Cup training camp was like in Switzerland and Turkey, which which we went on last summer, just give us a bit of an insight how different it is, how uh, how tough it was, or, or if it's got any similarities. Yeah, um, I'd say the main difference is I've never done anything as hard as I did in Turkey and Switzerland, <laughs> um, and I don't like I don't know what preseason is like for the NFL, but that is probably going to be one of the hardest things I ever do at a rugby world cup preseason camp. So, um, I think that the training, the difference is, is, it's more like, it's more explosive. It's not so, um, endurance. you know, you're not doing, yeah, you're not doing a long endurance testing and, and training. Um, it's all about explosive power, speed, yeah. short, sharp kind of stuff. So it's perfect for me. <laughs> I was going to say that suits you down to the ground. Yeah. I was going to say you couldn't have yeah, picked you... it any better. Man. Yeah, but with that, is is it easier then, Sam? So you know we're watching it unfold on social media, and you watch the combine. So is the training more suited to you? Like, is it? Do you, do you find, did you find it easier? I mean, I found it easier than than the World Cup training camp, but because I think that's just because yeah, yeah, because it suits me. Like, I'm more explosive. I'm all about speed short sharp intervals as opposed to doing mas on the pitch just constantly running up and down the pitch um yeah so it's, it's there is a massive difference and um you know it very much suits me and that's kind of i i, I kind of knew that going into it but um yeah it was it was a, it was a big grind for the for two and a half months and it was a lot of um it was a lot of classroom stuff because obviously you're trying to catch up the sport where boys have been playing since they were eight years old so it's, it was more the, the mental side of the game as opposed to the physical side of the game that I was trying to adapt to more. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been an amazing, it's been an amazing three and a half months and, you know, I can't wait to see what the future holds. Yeah, James was saying that, you know, the times that came out that were made public on the day that you'd actually run quicker, you'd done better and they actually have access, of course they do, to all the data. So how nervous were you when you did your 40 yard dash, but you'd done a quicker time that before as right yeah, in yeah. saying that? Yeah, I was. I don't think I've ever been so nervous in my life than that photo. Because Tops I mean, off. I mean that the, this is my dream, and that day was pretty much going to determine what I do in my life. Um, so I was very nervous. Um, at the same time, I was trying to stay as composed as possible because I've got to try and catch a ball as well. So I can't be shaking. I can't be nervous. But yeah, the forty yard dash didn't go as I'd like. I know I ran way quicker in the in the in the leading up to it, but. Um, it is what which it is, is what. What's your quickest you did on that? So I was running like high four twos, low four threes, but mm. I, I I ran like four four three. But yeah, I, yeah, it, it is what it is. Like I know, like I'm more of like a a game speed kind of guy. Like I'm I'm not a sprinter, so I've never done track and field. I've never done athletics, so I'm not used to just running in a straight line. I'm more about game speed, being able to run in a match, being able to weave. Um, and I think that's that's basically what the NFL is going to going to allow me to do. So, 
I'm never really going to be running just in a straight line. Um, it's yeah. all about what you're going to be able to do in a game. So, um, I was gonna, I, um, sorry, Zan, go on, go on. Yeah, I was going to say just like so. I, I I assume the coaches have have obviously picked up on that um, because my forty wasn't. It was good, but it wasn't amazing. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. It, it's funny, Zan, because because that's kind of like a little bit what we say. You know, we're like playing with you for the last yeah. few years when people ask, "Oh, how quick is he? What's his time?" I said, "Well, we don't really know, but what." Is a, what's incredible with you is how you transfer your speed into gameplay and into a game scenario. So I suppose I was going. You, you mentioned there was a lot of classroom work and and lots of sort of stuff. How you feel in the pitch and things. How how difficult is that classroom? Like how big is the playbook? How complicated are things? Or is it is it going to take a fair bit of revision over the next couple of weeks, couple of months? <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a lot of revision. Um, <laughs> you've got to learn like. You've got to learn like over a season, probably a thousand plays. And wow. you're going into a game with 80 plays. I mean, in rugby, what we got five scrum attacks, five and lineup you know, you plays. You normally ask me what and I'm like, for them anyway. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> why, why am I running here? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a lot of revision time. But the way, the way I'm seeing it is like, I'm actually loving this. So, like, I'm really enjoying learning the game and I'm really enjoying just you know, diving deep into into the game itself and into football. So, um, you know, here I've, I've got my iPad with with the playbook on it. So, um, you know, well, that's, I'm all... that's, what, that's an improvement over the last five yeah. years since you've been in rugby <laughs> exam anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I know. So it just goes to show, like, I'm I'm actually loving it. And yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm really loving, like, just learning the game in general. So, um, yeah, I've I've kind of been glued to that iPad for the past two weeks since I've since I've signed. So I want to try and pick up as much as I can before going into camp. Um, but yeah, I fly Wednesday and I'm going to go train with Pat and the receivers. And um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be an amazing experience. And and there's no one better to learn from than than the likes of Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and, and Andy Reid. So um, yeah, I'm very excited and and I can't wait to get going. Well, I get goosebumps when he says yeah, them names. J just because, and again, I'm getting a bit of hate online, Zam, that I'm all over it at the minute and <laughs> chatting to James Cook about it. As, as athletes, I can't even believe I'm putting myself in the same kind <laughs> of sentence as athletes when I'm sat here with Biggs and obviously chatting to you, Zam. I talk about money, right? As in, like, you base athletes in sport and entertainment and the money's aligned with that. Can you give us a bit of insight around what that is? Because I know in American sports, they talk about it, don't they? So there's talk of your contract. I think it's just interesting for the listeners to hear what the incentive is. Yes, it's the NFL, but there's also a financial incentive. Like, can you, are you allowed to tell us, Zam, are you happy? J I mean, James Cook was going to mention it, but he said it wasn't for him to say, but he yeah. said it is spoken about. Like, it, you speak about money yeah, in American yeah, yeah. sports. So there's, it's actually funny you say that because um, there's, a, <laughs> there's actually a website online that you can find out everyone's contracts because they're public. Um, so everyone knows how much you earn, no matter who you are. Like you can go find, um, I mean, you can go find Patrick Mahomes' contract if you wanted to. Like, I think it's like a deal in American sport that you can find out people's contracts. But um, basically, what you do is as a rookie, you you kind of sign a three year deal, and um, and then you basically get a guaranteed money. You get guaranteed money. So if you get injured or um, or you get cut you're still guaranteed that money, but you can get cut at any point. So it's a bit of a cutthroat sport. Like I could go to preseason now, not do well, and I would just get cut straight away. So you're not but, like, like, guaranteed those... So you're guarantee, not guaranteed yeah. the three years at all. And no one is. Like no yeah. one is, unless you're guaranteed the money, the whole contract. Um, so basically how it works is you sign a contract. If you get put in the practice squad, you basically, they terminate this contract that you've just signed you're a free agent for 24 hours, so any team can pick you up. And then, which is called waivers, if you've ever heard that term. Um, so you've got clear waivers. So if no one picks you up, they can then put you on the practice squad. If not, then they put you on the 53-man squad and you stick to that original contract that you signed. Um, so they have minimum, um, they have like minimum money for certain. So if you make the 53-man squad, your minimum is, I think this year is 790 grand. If you dollars. make the practice dollars, yeah. If you make the practice squad, it's two hundred twenty-five or two hundred fifty grand minimum. So that's basically how the contracts work. Um, if you, yeah, if you get the fifty man, fifty-three man squads, I think only forty-six or forty-seven suit up for match day. So there is still like 
six or seven people that um, don't actually play, but they're still getting paid the same amount as as some rookies or some players that are that are in the fifty three man squad. Um, but yeah, I signed the three year, and um, yeah, I kind of I just need to make the fifty three man squad now, and <laughs> my head is fully fully dived into this into this book, and mm. um, you know I'm ready to show show everyone what I can do. Zam, we know you 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 really push for time, so just finish up on on one maybe one more question. Yeah, is is the the goal for you to really make it as a wide receiver, or do you think it's maybe a place on the special um, teams, or is there is it still maybe a little bit too early to to tell what's what's your sort of plan or what's so your ideas on that? Yeah, so the plan we've got is um, obviously the new kickoff rules this year is absolutely massive. Um, that's where my main position is going to be. Um, so I've got to fight to be a starter in that position this year. Um, and then it's within the offense. It's it's about how quick I can learn the playbook because um, you know we've got a plan to to put me in various positions, play out the backfield at running back, be a slot receiver, just being able to use me as much as possible and be creative with me. So um, it's all about me learning the playbook and and getting the chemistry with with all the players on offense to to be able to use me. So I mean, it's kind of up to me to to learn all the plays and. And being able to integrate myself into into a starting role, um, but I know it's going, to, it's going to take a lot, and it's going to take a t- it's going to take a bit of time for me to do that. Um, and all the coaches know that, so um, yeah, there's no there's no pressure, but I'm going to try and learn it as quick as possible to to put me in the best position to to get on the field. Yeah. Well, Zam, it's going to be awesome to watch. It's been awesome up to this point. I know it's about getting down to, to business now for you. So to have you on has been epic. I know your family, your family are going to move over. You type your brother. You're in business with your brother. Let's just talk about that. Let's just yeah. pr- promote a little bit around. Because the, <laughs> the Kelsey boys have got Accelerator. That's their drink. What's Lewis Ree Samet and his brother's yeah, drink so, called? So we got Sabotar, which is a, which is an energy drink. Um, me and my brother set it up. It's been two and a half years in the making. Just got released a couple of months ago. So, um, yeah, my brother's going to move over in July. Um, we're going to get out in America and 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 see how it goes. But I, I know what I've got to focus on. Um, but at the same time, you know, my brother's dealing with with Sabotar and and all the other directors within the company. So, um, yeah, my brother's moving over July. My family hopefully move over for the season. I know what I got to do. I got to try and make the fifty three man squad, and um, and then we can go from there. Yeah, amazing, Zab. Class, We're mate. very, very grateful for for you giving up some time. We know good. how busy you are, and it'd be awesome if we could check back in with you maybe yeah. at some point during the season and, and let us know how you're getting on. For sure, for sure. Thanks, guys. Brilliant. I'll bring, I'll bring the news to James again, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, about. yeah, <laughs> I know. Don't don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, All right. mate. Cheers, Thanks, mate. Guys. Tell Cheers, Travis yeah. I was asking for him as well. He liked or the new heights like one of my th- comments, so they, they know me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Zab. <laughs> Pod, 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 pod. Rugby pod.